good morning everybody shalom wa barukat this is i am hotep jed mutaliba tum el otherwise known as george smith and um i'm really not trying to continue any beefs with anybody but there was something said by your boy amen osiris which i expected amen to say some stuff you know like on my videos especially after the one where um you know i exposed them you know i wasn't the first person to expose them uh yah was magnified exposed him first but somehow that got misconstrued with no confirmation that i was somehow uh riding his dick or uh or something or something uh I guess brothers don't understand what uh what inspiration is. You know what I'm saying? Like uh like Dr. J inspired Michael Jordan. Dr. J inspired Magic Johnson. So they did the same thing. They tried to emulate the same thing that Dr. J did. I'm not saying I'm trying to emulate y'all as magnified, but he kinda, you know, I guess his uh his head got big, I guess, uh, when trying to you know, because I fell victim to it too. So I have, I have, I also have a uh, standing, you know, to say what I got to say about them too, because I fell victim too. And I would encourage anybody who's fell victim to um, in Osiris to make a video, you know, because that's just the right thing to do. Now, somebody trying to use that and capitalize on it to, to have a monetary gain, you know, that's on them. And then they want to make claims that, oh, I'm the only person in the world who has a claim against Amin Osiris, well, we know that's not true. So anyway, I was looking at Amin's videos and and I think he's been in the game too long to make mistakes like this. If he's been doing child support for over 10 some years, uh, he's too old and he should be too seasoned to make a mistake like this, all right? So this is a video uh, talking about you know you're not you're not uh obligated to give dna which, which you're not he's absolutely correct you are not obligated to dna i you know i just had a client one of my clients they threw him in jail and said they were not gonna let him out until he gives up his dna you know so we got something pending in, in federal court against that but this is like a rookie mistake okay so let me go back a little bit because he's talking about somebody who's not a judge. So let's go back, okay? All right. Here it is, number one. This is allegedly coming from a court, all right? We know that child support agency is not part of the court system. Well, he's correct, but they're violating the law anyway. See, people are just, they're criminals. I told one of my clients to look at them as like a, um, look at them like the mafia. And they're just trying to extort people for money and trying to justify it by deliberately misconstruing the child support laws. That's, it's a criminal organization. Um, I've actually thought about uh, hitting them with a RICO case because they're really, they don't follow any laws, y'all. I'm, I'm thinking about hitting them with RICO. Now, RICO takes a lot of research, but they leave more than ample evidence to hit them with a RICO case. And you're talking about uh, definitely uh, a multi-million dollar suit when you're talking about a RICO case. So the state is actually funding criminal organizations under the color of law. So, but anyway, um, he's saying that it's not a court. Uh, it's an administrative court, meaning it's an inferior court. It's not a court of record. You know, they're not going to take minutes and all that. It's not a real functioning court, but it is an inferior court. If you know anything about jurisdiction, it's an inferior court. So, I mean, they don't have the power to make you do anything that you don't voluntarily want to do, you know. And it says it right there in the statute. Uh, what is that? 42 U.S.C. Uh, 466, Section C, you know. You don't have to do it. So let, let's keep going on. But see, what they're doing is they're putting judge magistrates 
in administrative courts. So now it's kind of it gets kind of confusing because you have a judge magistrate who's not supposed to be there under Judge's Canons Law Three. He ain't, if you got a financial interest in the case, you have to recuse yourself from the case. You can't be there. That's a that's an instant lawsuit. People just need to start learning how to sue the child support and learn how to take or learn how to take the court, uh, how to take the case federal and sue them there. You know, because if you can point out how many laws they break in, I remember I told you they're a criminal organization, so they're going to break some laws. So when you're talking about a judge magistrate sitting in uh, an administrative court, then the question arises that well what powers does this judge really have and to tell you the truth the judge doesn't have any powers because he's activating an administrative seat if that makes any sense he's ex an administrative court can't a judge cannot exercise powers he does not have and sitting in an administrative court controlled by the statute you don't have that power to find someone in contempt or to find someone uh, or to throw somebody in jail for for a regular commercial debt, you know, U.S. versus LECO. You don't have the power to do that, right? And the, now the judge can be sued because he acted outside of his official capacity. So all that immunity, he's just a regular Joe Schmo now. Once you recognize what law he broke, you sue him on that grounds. All right, so let's let's keep going. All right, so there is nothing coming from the court. All right, and then they're telling you, well, you're going to be subject to contempt. And they're giving these orders and telling you, you have to do this. Can anybody, and look, Lori Collier Ingram. Lori Collier Ingram is not a judge. Okay, so this is where my problem arises with Amin Osiris. He's saying that Lori Collier Ingram is not a, a state district court judge. All right. Now this could be true or not be true. When I seen this video for the first time, um, I was like, okay, well, she's not a judge, but I had my hunch. So I did a search for uh, Lori Collier Ingram and she, at one time she was a lawyer. So let's click on this in Houston County, Alabama. But okay, this is the, okay, legal dictionary. So I don't know about this source, but it's saying she is a lawyer and then saying she's a judge. It says she's a district court judge. All right. And if you want to contact her, you can call her here. Okay. In Houston County and uh, Dothan, Alabama. So I'm like, okay, cool. So let's go to, I guess, judge. You know, it, this is the woman that he's talking about right here. You know, Lori Collier Ingram. She's 53, occupation, district judge, 2009 to present, lawyer for 21 years before becoming a judge, married with two children. Okay, so how are we still making rookie mistakes after I don't know how many years of doing child support and saying that this woman's not a judge? Now, can she be sued because she can't sit in on a child support case? Yes. She cannot sit in on a child support case. That's that's their own judicial conduct. Okay, that's their own rules for judicial conduct. Now she could be disciplined for that. But for the but she is a judge. She's just making she just doesn't have any knowledge of her own rules. And that's where you gotta let her know in an affidavit and in a hearing that yes, you, you need to have you need to recuse yourself under these laws, you know? So I don't get why the rookie mistakes is, is he rushing to make these videos for his fans or, you know, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Why are we still making rookie mistakes like this? That, that doesn't make any sense, you know? And then, uh, and then, He's saying that, uh, you know, his paperwork, you know, because I, I got on him in a video. I exposed it <laughs> for what it should be. I'm just telling the truth. Now, some brothers got a problem with the truth because the truth will hurt them. See, the truth don't hurt me because, you know, my case is still pending. I put in a motion to dismiss October 3rd. So that's pending. Uh, I got one dude who i'm working with exclusively who's actually my friend 
you know, out there in VA that we've gone in the federal court. You know, because VA is is wild. They got that's a real criminal organization for you. You even got the police chief threatening to sue you if you don't come in and consent to child support. So uh, VA is wild. VA is wild, man. So I'm gonna be writing uh, to the U.S. Congressman of Virginia and possibly to the Secretary of State who runs the child support program in each state. That you know, there's probably gonna be more lawsuits coming in that state. You know, I mean, because what they're doing out there is ridiculous, man. They trampling all over your rights. And you know whose fault it is? It's the people's fault because you haven't fought them. Because if they knew that every time they hit you with a child support case, that it could be illegal and they could be sued, they would stop doing it because it wouldn't be profitable anymore. But you got people out here thinking that child support is basically God. <laughs> and I'm just laughing like, wow, my people are just miseducated, you know. Under Hosea, uh, chapter four, verse six, you know, King Hosea said that, you know, my people are being destroyed for the lack of knowledge, you know, and this is a lack of knowledge here. How could you make such a rookie mistake? That That's crazy. That's crazy. Because I, you know, I didn't even see this video at first, but one of my, one of my boys hit me up and said, hey, you know, check out this Amin Osiris video. I was like, all right, cool. So I started checking it out. And as soon as he said, this is not a judge, that's a pretty strong claim to say somebody's not a judge when they claim that they are. So I said, okay, who's telling the truth here? Who, who's right and who's wrong? And a quick internet search, it was less than two minutes, y'all. Type their name in less than two minutes. She's a district court judge, Houston County, Alabama, Dothan, Alabama. All right, that word, that wasn't really that hard. So right wisdom, right knowledge, right understanding will always get you to the right answer and you got to do the right research and don't rush it don't rush it you know uh i seen i haven't really peeped this cat out but his name is called the liquid theory uh, i've only watched one of his videos but he did say calm down and just study the law just calm down relax and just study the law man that's it and you'll find your remedy in that um so anyway, you know, I'm done. You know, I, I always got a lot to say, but uh, just wanted to point this out that, you know, maybe Amen need to slow down and do his research, you know. And then I'm not going to play this whole video, but, you know, um, I think he subliminally threw a shot at me last year when I put up some of my paperwork and I said the child support agency is basically acting like the gangsters of the 20th century like al capone and, and lucky luciano and meyer lansky and on him and uh he had maybe two days later he made a video and said oh okay i see people are talking shit in their affidavits and i said and i said to myself i'm like well i'm not talking shit i'm comparing you because in my mind that's the way i see you guys because that's the way the circumstances and the facts line up you know you're arresting people for a debt they don't even owe it's like loan sharking. And then you're going out, the gangster sends somebody out to break your fucking knees or something. Or to beat you up. And that's what child support does. So I compared it. It's not that I'm talking shit. It's, just, it's a true comparison in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? And then now you're talking shit in your affidavits. Lori, come on, dude. Come on, dude. And she is a judge. <laughs> This shit's crazy, man. Uh, he made another video about, you know, we need to stop the beefs. And some dude, he tried to accuse of being a troll. And he's not a troll. He got no evidence. Uh, somebody, Martin, he's not a troll. Come on, bro. You're just, you're pumping it up. It's like the rappers back in like the 90s, right? Oh, yeah, the feds is after me. Nigga, you sold like a nickel bag on the corner. The feds ain't after you, bro. <laughs> same thing for Amin. The feds ain't after you, bro. You just maybe a little paranoid, or you know, uh, you did something wrong to somebody, and and now that uh, you you're trying to fight the demons from coming back, but it's called karma. You know, you can't fight karma. It's coming. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm gonna sign off. This is I'm Hotep Jed Mutalib Atum L, uh, bringing you the facts once again. I don't lie about stuff. If I say I'm going to take videos down to try to squash something, you know, I'll take it down. 
But if the other side doesn't keep up with their word, I put it right back up. All right. All right. I'll catch y'all later. Shalom. Wadu. Well,